number one. This is JJ. In China's biggest discotheque, Beijing's Young lets off steam. This generation was drilled to love the motherland and the Communist Party. The Western bourgeois music is seen as a heart safety valve. It's got nothing to do with China and politics. Although just beneath the party time surface lurks a danger. <laughs> Choi Jian is China's most powerful rock star. To the government, he's a threat. His fans see him as an expression for their own frustrations, but mostly they can only watch him on old videos like this. He's banned from playing Beijing concerts and in most other places. But tomorrow, he and the band have been given rare permission to perform in a provincial town outside of Beijing. The equipment will go by truck, the band flies down in the morning. We had a rare opportunity to see Choi Jian play. How difficult is it to perform in China? It's pretty difficult. Every time we get the permission from the local government, we don't have a money problem, we have a company. But the only problem is when we, we have no freedom to performance. Is music one of the most powerful instruments in, of social change here? there is rock and roll the sort of thing you're doing rock and roll is very powerful it's very easy to to touch people's heart you know because the sound very strong very easy to understand <laughs> Sadness and anger from the 1989 Beijing massacre. What are the most powerful lyrics that you've yeah. written? The translation in English is uh, the reality is like stone, and the spirit is like egg. Although the stone is hard. But the egg is a life. If you ask what we are, we are both or eggs under the red flag. Eggs, that means a new life under the Chinese, red Chinese flag? New generation. You see yourself as, as, as a cultural leader for them? As, as no, I'm not Pointing leader. them in a direction? Maybe, maybe I'm a questioner. I'm, I use, you know, my music, I put my question in my music. So you're looking forward to going after this yeah. concert? Yeah. yeah. Sorry, you interrupted. This is a phone call from Thailand, and they had to cancel the concert because they got in, uh, some instructions from the provincial authorities, so we cannot go to Thailand. Wow, it's hot. Wow, it's really hot. What does that mean? That means we couldn't, we can't have the concert. We yeah. have to cancel everything. Just like that. Yeah. That's so stupid. Then while filming, the promoter himself suddenly turns up. He's furious. He thought he had won over the local police. Choi Jian's big crowds meant big money. But he was wrong. Well, why was the concert cancelled? Did they give any reason? They have a written reason.
young soldiers stirred by music of the revolution are charged with protecting the Communist Party against forces like Choi ji This is Tiananmen Square, where the students died in 1989. Love for country and love for government became two different things. Since then, the government skillfully shored up the one-party state. Anyone at any time overstepped the mark. Often working here, I don't even know what the rules are, like with Choi Jien's cancelled concert. We repeatedly failed to get an explanation from the Ministry of Culture, so we just went there. <laughs> What's he saying? Uh, he yeah. said well, we have to turn off the uh, camera. Okay, okay, fine. Yeah, we can do that. But can you just explain? Yeah. We... Yeah. Okay, fine. Yeah. No, cameras off. Yeah. Do they know where we should go? Okay. Could, could they show us into the office? We left, like so many in this country, none the wiser, and turned away by a green uniform. But Beijing's taking on the character of a modern city, which the government can't always control. A neon-lit cafe society has sprung up, reflecting aspirations which are testing the rules. Why does the government allow these cafes to operate and not someone like yourself to play? The bar, you don't need a license. If you play more than 2,000, like a disco, I think you have to get permission from the government before that. Why do they allow bars to play jazz and not rock and roll? Because jazz is different from rock and roll. If you play jazz, people can, you can say it's a background music, so it's no lyrics. And so there's no political message or anything like that. This is a home away from home for Chinese musicians. Artistic expression is low key. Dreams are discussed in whispers no longer on the streets. What did the 1989 Tiananmen Square incident, what did that mean for the young people of China? Most of the young people, they were think that it was a chance to change. It was a chance to, to, to release their anger. After that, it, the China is closed up. So maybe it's because the government is they're scared about rock and roll. Someone said the, the, the Soviet gun is it because of the rock and roll. I think it's not fair. You said that everything's political in, 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 in China. Does that stop artistic creativity? Does it stop people making art? I have to answer this kind of question very, very carefully because it's very easy to hurt government, very easy to hurt people. Their families, some people died in their family, you know, during the Ju June 4th. I'm not satisfied. A lot of people are not satisfied too, because you can't, you cannot see better thing, better future maybe. This is Choi Jian's China. He'll never leave for exile. If he did, his music would lose its soul. Thousands like him are pushing every day for a freer society, and there are signs that they're winning bit by bit. Like tonight, Choi Jian plays trumpet without permission, and the police. Stay away. And that's all for.